Hey guys, it's Vampire Mike from Sega CD Universe, and I just finished watching Wrestle Massacre on 2B TV. It's a free streaming service, so if you know of it, check it out. Um, this is a 2018 movie that I think I was informed by Sean C. Phillips. He's cool duder on YouTube. He does a lot of like collection videos of Blu-rays and movies. I think he said on Facebook that he was in the movie. And uh, I did see him a little while ago, so I think that's how this got on my radar. If you know me, I'm a big fan of wrestling. I also love horror movies, so combining the two just does it for me. Um, there was one uh, a while back, WrestleManiac, that I had watched. That was okay. I was a little let down by it, but I think it had a good idea. And uh, I kind of feel the same way about Wrestle Massacre. It is a 2018 movie directed by Brad Twig, starring... Richie Acevedo, and it has Tony Atlas and Nikolai Volkov in it as well. The main point of the story is um, Richie Acevedo's character is sort of a, he's a grass cutter. He does uh, lawn work. He's down on his luck. He screws up at work, and they fire him, and just pretty much any chance he gets sort of goes downhill. His dad hates him. His job fires him. The girl he's in love with is dating this douchebag. Um... He's just, like, really out of sorts, you know? Nothing's going right for the guy. He wants to go to wrestling school and become the champion, just like his dad, which I guess is Nikolai Volkov, which is funny because he's got this very thick, I guess it's like Russian accent, but Richie Acevedo says he's Cuban in the film, so I guess he's supposed to be half Cuban. And um, speaking of people that are half whatever, he reminds me very, very, very little of uh, one of my friend's uh, who is half Mexican, half Polish, very little. Um, and I told him that and he, he got a good laugh out of it. So anyhow, they, um, he pretty much just freaks out. He puts on tights. He's not in good shape. He's got this huge belly. He's got no muscle and he's a big guy, but he's not, you know, imposing like you would expect. I, th I think had he trained a bit or been doing the yard work that he says he's doing in the movie, maybe he would have been in better shape, but Either way, I mean, I'm not throwing stones. He um, he then freak, freaks out and just starts killing everyone. He kills family members. He kills people that are supposed to be his friends and coworkers and whatever. And um, that's the gist of the movie. He just freaks out. He does, at one point, made me laugh, he did a camel clutch and pulled someone's head off. He starts skinning the people and making a belt out of all the people's faces and skin. So it, it's kind of a cool movie in, in like terms of if you're a, a low budget fan and you like micro budget type films, but you also like wrestling, you can do far worse. Um, some of the gore and the graphic stuff was kind of cool. Uh, the the first two seconds of the movie, and I always say this as a joke, but it's true. The first two seconds of the movie, it starts up and it's someone running through the woods getting chased, a guy getting chased through the woods with, I guess, his girlfriend. And the girlfriend is a chubby completely naked, like not just topless, completely naked, running through the woods with him. And good for her, you know? I, I like women with a little meat on their bones. So about two seconds into the movie, I was vested in this film. <laughs> or invested, I should say. Um, but either way, it was it was a pretty decent, low, micro-budget uh, offering. It's not going to blow anyone's socks off. But if you like wrestling and you like horror and you like cheesy, low-budget, schlocky, with silly gore... Check out Wrestle Massacre. It was pretty fun. I, I, my hat's off to them for doing this. They, someone needs to do like a really cool wrestling. They, had, I know they had that wrestler versus zombie movie. Um, they had that other one. Was it called Low Life? I can't think of the name of the movie. It was a guy in a Mexican luchador mask, and he was a, kind of like a hired gun in this cartel or something. That was pretty good. More serious. Um, you know, more of a almost Tarantino type movie. But I would love to see like a little bit of a, not a high budget, but just like a more focused kind of wrestling slash horror movie. Maybe, uh, I don't know, maybe a guy at a wrestling school gets bit by a zombie and he starts killing all the other wrestlers or something. I don't know, but it, it was pretty cool. I, I enjoyed Wrestle Massacre. I thought it was a pretty fun early morning, silly movie. So let me know guys, if you've seen Wrestle Massacre and you like low budget movies, I would recommend it. It is Vampire Mike from Sega CD Universe. Be good.